good, Dr. Mitty Collin here with TechOut, and I've been running the One UI 6 beta for about a day now on my daily driver. So I'm just going to go over the first day of usage, battery life performance, um, any bugs that I've had, and stuff like that. Um, so first things first, um, here is my lock screen. I just want to point out that this little animation, this bubble on the top here, is not part of One UI 6. That is um, an app I have called Dynamic Spot um, that gives you... Uh, dynamic island-like notifications and stuff like that. Um, so that is not an addition to One UI 6, that is just something I've had um, for a while now and it works on One UI 5, One UI 6, doesn't matter, just you need that app. Um, so we're on One UI 6, Android 14. This is my current lock screen setup, I'm not using any modifications or anything like that. Um, it is all stock. If you are using GoodLock, I would recommend you uninstall GoodLock and all the modules before um, you update because a lot of them do not work, they are not updated yet, and you will lose the settings for them, so you will have to completely delete them to get your stuff to work right. Um, a lot of the home screen stuff and the lock screen stuff does not work with uh, good lock, so it will cause issues. Um, I was having an issue with the clock um, app, but it seems like changing my, um, changing my theming and uh, the color um, and settings here under wallpaper and style, I just changed that and uh, I noticed the app started working again, but before you couldn't see any of the tabs down here and you couldn't see basically anything that is white text you could not see. Um, you could only see like the different alarms right here. Um, so that seems to have fixed itself by changing that. Uh, battery life is pretty good, we're at 69% right now at 7.09 p.m. and I did enable um, the uh, protect battery mode that charges it just to 85% just because I wanted to see how that went with battery life and stuff like that on the beta. It's not something that I normally use um, but the toggle was right there so I just enabled it to play around with it and this is of course the new uh, control panel right here and the new notifications all that kind of stuff. I don't know if it being white up here is a bug. It does that in both light and dark mode. Um, that doesn't have really much effect on it other than kind of like the the background right here. Um, so. I don't know what's up with that. Um, again, for the wallpaper and style, I am using a, I'm not using a color palette, so it's just the default. Um, so I don't know why it's not going back to the blue. If I do enable something like this, and we just choose a color here, I'll just do the blue, because that's closest to what the default is. Um, it will uh, work correctly in the um, in the toggles, in the quick toggles. Um, so that does, that does work, but when those are off, they are white for some reason. I'm not too sure. Normally they're blue without a, uh, without a color palette applied. But that is what that looks like right there. Um, so you swipe down once, you get these six right here, and you can turn on and off whether you want the uh, brightness slider there all the time or not. What's cool about the settings for this now is they are set independently, so you can set these six. Um, you can choose whatever you want for those six up there, um, and then you can choose what you want for the main box right here. Um, so if you want another row, you can add another row, um, and then it will go to multiple pages after that. But these are really the only ones I use, so I just have the eight right here. Uh, a lot of people were asking me if you could just get rid of these and just have your, your notifications right here. You cannot. If you go to edit these, it does tell you um, right here that you need to keep at least six buttons. You have to have six. You can't have less than six. You can't have more than six. Um, so you need to pick six that will go up there um, from your available um, buttons. So that is what that looks like. And then the quick access right here, you can turn that on or off. Um, so if we turn it off, uh, you're swiping down from the top right right here, it will bring you down to your notifications. And then you swipe again to bring up the full um, quick toggle menu. And then with, with instant access on, swiping down from the right brings down the full menu. Swiping anywhere else on the screen brings you uh, to your notifications and your small uh, quick toggles right up there. So that is that. Um, performance has been pretty good. Um, animations are very smooth. Of course, uh, the animations you're seeing here on YouTube are going to be 60 frames a second while the phone is 120, so the phone in person is going to be a lot smoother than it is um, than what you're seeing here on camera um, just because the camera's frame rate and whether you're watching it uh, at, on YouTube at 30 or 60 frames a second, you're going to be seeing half the frame rate of what the phone actually supports. Um, so there really is no lag in person in real life um, switching between apps and opening and closing apps and stuff like that. Um, they're very fluid and they work fine. I have not had any lags, crashes, or anything like that. Um, like I said, really the only issue I've had is um, that clock app glitch that I had. Um, and I think that probably came over from uh, just one of the uh, color palettes that I was using before when the phone updated because it seems like changing that is what fixed it. Um, so that works. And of course, like I said, uh, the good lock modules aren't really a bug. They just haven't been updated yet. Um, so if you have uh, good lock modules and you want to install the beta, make sure you 
um, turn those off, get rid of them before you do that. If you do want to get the beta and you're in the US, you just need to go to the Samsung members app right here. Um, this is the beta Samsung members app right here, so it's got the beta stuff on the bottom. Um, if you're not running the beta, this is what you'll see when you first go in. And as of right now, it is the 14th uh, slide on the top banner here. You just tap that and uh, you'll get a registration button that comes up right here. Click that register button and then um, go to your settings and go down to software update and it's gonna be down here and uh, download and install just like normal. Sometimes it takes five or 10 minutes before it'll pop up, but that's where it'll be. And one cool thing about settings now is when you close out of settings and you go back, it takes you back to your last page. Normally it would go back to the main screen like this. Now it takes you back to the last page you're on. Uh, so if you're in settings and you change something, you close it out to you know look at this setting change or whatever, or you know whatever it, need, whatever it may be, uh, you can go back into the settings app and it will continue where you left off. So that's very nice. Um, so that is one US 6 beta one right there. Um, the biggest change is going to be the uh, control panel and your uh, control toggles right here. That's the biggest change. There's some new share sheet stuff, um, new camera stuff and stuff like that in here as well. Um, but you know, new filters and all that kind of stuff on the top there uh, and some settings and stuff like that. But nothing too much. Like I said, that uh, quick toggles is basically the big, big one UI 6 change. Um, and it's supposed to be a lot smoother. There is some new stuff coming to the lock screen, but I cannot get it to work yet. It's not working for me, such as being able to reposition the clock. Um, I can't get that to save for whatever reason. Um, so we'll check that out in another beta and see if that's working. Um, but other than that, that's what we're looking at. Um, one more thing, there also is a new music. I know somebody's gonna ask me to see this. Um, there's a new music uh, player. Um, so we're going to turn that down so we don't get copyright. We're just gonna play, let's play something with a um, so here it is up here. Um, that looks about the same, but then if you go to your lock screen, there it is right there. And of course, you can go to um, you can go to settings and change the opacity of this to make it like see through and stuff like that if you want to. But that is what that looks like, the new music player on the lock screen. So that's one UI six. Like I said, we'll check out some of the other stuff here um, in the next couple weeks once the new beta comes out and see if any of that's fixed and if there's anything new, stuff like that. Right now, there's no new wallpapers or anything. It's just those changes. Um, so that's pretty much it for One UI 6 right now. I'm Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and as always, have a great day.